All right, so it is volunteering Wednesday and today we got some cool opportunities for you involving nature. So Katie from Blanford Nature Center is here to tell us all about it. Katie, thanks for so much for talking Thank to us today you. and joining us today. All right, so first off, uh, let's talk about the uh, registered volunteers. Tell sure. us all about that. Um, so I just want to talk about the different opportunities for volunteering. Yeah. Our first opportunity is our registered volunteers. These are individuals who'd like to come in on a more regular basis. Okay. Um, they have to go through the process of a volunteer application, then a volunteer orientation, and then they can kind of start re regularly volunteering with us at Lamper Nature Center. Awesome. All right. And you have some uh, public volunteers as well. We do. So we have um, public volunteers are people from the community. They can come in and help out with our different festivals that we have throughout the year. Uh, these volunteers do not have to go through the same process. They don't have to do an orientation or an application. Um, they simply can sign up um, right from our website to volunteer in the different aspects of our events. And we actually have a humongous event coming up right around the corner, which is our Harvest Festival. We do. And we'll talk about that in just a second. But first, I want to talk about service groups. Because sure. we don't want to forget them as well. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So our service groups are typically corporate groups, um, school groups, sports teams, any oh, nice. kind of organization that wants to come in as a team and do a volunteer service with us. Uh, typically, these groups will help out over at our farm with our land stewardship team doing trail maintenance, um, but they come in as well and they don't have to do any kind of orientation or application. They can come in as a team and help us help us out around the property. Yeah, it's great for you guys and also like a wonderful bonding experience as Absolutely. well for them. Yes. All right, so let's get back to the Harvest Festival. Yes, I am looking forward to that. I love fall. Yes. Yeah. So the Harvest Festival this year is going to be on October 12th. It's from 10 to 4. Um, volunteers can sign up directly on uh, Blanford's website through our volunteer calendar. Uh, you would just go to October 12th on the volunteer calendar. Go ahead and click the link and you can sign up for various stations throughout the event. Uh, we have crafts, we have uh, horse carriage rides, we have so admissions. Cool. Um, there's a ton of different opportunities and there's a ton of available positions to volunteer right now. See that little dude, he's obviously having a lot of fun. Yes. Along with those horses <laughs> as well, that is very, very cool. Talking about some other volunteering opportunities uh, real quick what are some other uh, opportunities for folks uh, besides the uh, harvest festival you got going on um, besides harvest festival we also have our sugar bush season so we tap oh, okay. into 150 maple trees um, over the winter seasons and we actually have volunteers operating our sugar house um, that entire season and that leads into another big festival which is the sugar bush festival uh, where folks can go ahead and sign up just like the harvest festival volunteer in any station or department that they'd want and come and help out for the day very cool well, it sounds like you guys got a lot of great opportunities there. So if you uh, would like to volunteer, maybe for the Harvest Festival or anything else that they got going on, you can find some more information up on our website, 13onyourside.com. Katie, thank you so much for coming in thank today. You. Really appreciate it. Stick around. We'll be right back.